enjoy these awesome flavors. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, awesome. We make various kind of curries, but there is some aroma that some people just love. We got to make the vegetarian dish, but it is going to be flavored with dried prawns. So a lot of vegetables and the dried prawns will give this extremely tasty. You know, a lot of Thai recipes also use the prawn powder. So for this, I'm going to first make a paste. So in this fresh coconut, here is a soaked melon seeds. So you can use the char magas and all those things in this and also soaked cashew nut. Add some water and make this into a fine paste. And now we're going to make that dry prawn masala powder. In a pan, we're going to take red chili, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, some poppy seeds and also these dry prawns. We're going to slowly cook them till the nice aroma comes and after which we're going to put in a blender and make a fine powder. You can use this on any of the curries, especially the eggplant curries and all that. This one will be excellent. These are nicely done. Put it in a blender and make a fine powder. The coconut and the paste is ready. The masala is also ready. In this, add oil. Let the mustard seeds crackle. We're going to add some fennel seeds, the sauce. And in this, we're going to add the onions. And in this, you don't want the onions to be too much cooked. Just saute them a little bit. The curry leaf is waiting. Add me in. Wherever you add, I'll make the dish tasty. Curry leaf, bumba bumba, and mix all of them. I love the fennel and this aroma is just amazing. In this, we're going to add a little bit of turmeric, ginger garlic paste. When these things get slightly sorted, you can add the vegetables. All the vegetables, the eggplant, add other vegetables. Mix vegetables, you can add any vegetable you want. No matter what vegetable you add, no matter how much flavor in the vegetable, you will always get that awesome flavor because of that prawn powder. In this, add potatoes, add water, add some salt and let these vegetables cook on a medium flame till they are nice and soft. When the vegetables are kind of, you know, getting cooked, in this, we're going to add tomatoes, green chili, and also we're going to add the, the cashew nut, the melon seeds paste, add to this. We're going to let this cook for a few more minutes. This kind of will give that milky gravy. This is also known as pal curry and all that. By adding that prawn masala later, we're going to give that awesome flavor. Salt, just perfect. The sweetness, everything is getting in here. Let it cook for a few minutes. In this, we are going to add this masala. So this masala is what will make this curry ooh, ooh, ooh thing. Means when you eat it, you got to pour this on hot rice. And then all these vegetables will become nice and juicy and perfect. Whenever you make this, just put the lid on, switch off the flame and let it rest for some time. Let these vegetables suck in that nice flavors and when you put it on a bed of hot rice, this is super tasty. Look at all these juicy vegetables along with this. Normally, a simple curry, you know, would be okay. But with these flavors, there is some magic that happens. With this hot vegetables and rice and this aroma, this is something that is like a quiet taste. So with this, ha ha ha. Any vegetable, you put potato, you put brinjal, you put bendi, anything, it will become awesome. Mm. There is a nice kick in it. This is an acquired taste. And once you start enjoying this, these kind of flavors, you will just fall in love. Not in India, throughout the world, they enjoy these kind of flavors. And especially in China, Indonesia, Malaysia and all that, these recipes are just awesome. Keep cooking and enjoy these awesome flavors. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, awesome. Watch another Wah Magic with Chef Money.